And stepping that in for the Cardinals, Mark the McGuire. Baseman. Outfield playing very deep, Vince not wanting McGuire. anything over their heads. That's a base hit, run scores. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And up next for St. Louis, Mark McGuire. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. First offering misses badly for ball one. Charlie Morton, a guy who has had a pretty incredible ride. He's won the World Series twice with the Astros in 17 and with the Braves in 2021. Next offering is down low. In the air, left side. Makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. To the plate, save! And they lead by three. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. Mark McGuire next up for the Cardinals. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, let's go, big fella. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And now it's even up. They see him driving. Let's go. Two outs. That one misses. And the count's full. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Ozuna makes the catch, and that'll do it. Runner at first with two away. Now up for St. Louis, Mark McGuire. One for two. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Out towards right center field. Acuna after it. Racing makes the catch. And that ends the end. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Mark McGuire. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. And that's ball one. You know, these cards, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Righty to the plate. That misses the zone. Ball two. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Oh, big power guy right there. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. Final score here today, 10-6. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals. 10 runs, 13 hits. What? And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Base is empty is with two away. The right Sammy Sosa getting ready to hit. Sammy this is Sosa. a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. The pitch. Strike one. On one. No score just getting started. Top of the first. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. And that's downstairs and outside. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. And here it comes. Swings and misses. Struck him out. It's the cup. No outs. The runner at first. So up now for Chicago. Sammy Sosa. He's over one. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. They say it went. Oh, two with count. Going two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. Sammy Sosa, the next cup to hit. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. to third fires to second for one on the first double play and that's the inning but two outs nobody on Sammy Sosa the next cup to hit first offering misses the mark one time right now kid here we go And a pitch. And another ball. 2-0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Next one misses. And now 3-0. Three balls. No strike. Hey, like you can. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Gone! He made him pay for that one, and they tack one on the board. It's 
There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. Sammy Sosa, the next Cub to hit. He's now already homered in this right game. Sammy Sims, Sosa. 28 years old, a former first round pick back in 2012. Here we go now. Come on. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And it's off the wall. One run is in. Now he launches a throw over his head. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, do you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead? So nice job today all the way around to get the W. 9-1 is how it ends. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long. No errors. They left 10 men on. Would you a Two outs, space is empty. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mark McGuire. Two for seven in the series so far. That one misses in the dirt. And a foul ball. Next pitch That's is downstairs. Two and one. And that's outside. The right hander gives up the two out walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't a what big So first and second with two outs. And up next for St. Louis, Mark McGuire. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. In there, and it's 0-1. Edmund at second. Donovan on at first with two down. Owen oh, 2 as he waves at that one. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And he deals. O2 oh. fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. All speed's probably coming. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Bases empty, one away. Mark McGuire next up for the Cardinals. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Olsen makes the catch, and there's two down. McGuire goes. Now, now it's going to be Mark base. McGuire. Now be careful with this guy, he's got power. He can untie it with one swing. That one's in there, 0 and 1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out. Over to first, and he's saved. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. 
Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Tag. Save. Stolen base. Darno too late for the throw. Third baseman. No way. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. And your final score here today, 2-1. The show. Now, here is Sammy Sosa, big time power. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can deter. Not in time, he's safe. Hunter Green, a lot of people are excited about this guy. The second overall pick in 2017 made his debut in 2022. What a fastball he has. Yeah, it's amazing. Even if he's not pitching for a winning team, just stopping and seeing what he's doing is unreal. Fastball velocity, effortless. It's triple digits regularly. Kick Sandios. And it's filled up. Yeah, he set a record in his second career outing when he threw 39 pitches, 100 miles an hour or more in a single game. And that surpassed Jacob DeGrom's record of 33. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Sammy Sosa, the next Cub to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Sammy Sosa, you think about that amazing year, 1998, the home run race with Mark McGuire. For Sammy, he finished with move over to first, trying to keep him close. They wait for yours here. And a pitch. And it's even up. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Green, keeping him close. The one, two. That's inside. Hunter Green has a long way to go before he's the most famous baseball player from his high school. Mike Stanton went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California, of course. Oh, that pitch got away from him, and that's a hit-by-pitch. He had two strikes on him. Now it's the power-speed combo. Sammy Sosa, lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. First pitch, not close. For Sammy, multiple All-Star games, multiple Silver Sluggers, and, of course, that 1998 MVP. And you love to see the Sammy Sosa hop after he hit the home run. Very special, and I think he kind of paved the way for guys later on that have a little something special when they hit homers. A little flair. A little flair. And that one fouled off. The 2-1. And a good eye there. Hat leads off first with two down to the inning. This one in the air center field. And that's the third out. Cubs leave one. They're up 2 nothing. Man at first with one gone. Sammy Sosa, the next Cub to hit. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking. to do damage with every swing he takes. Pitch, 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Farmer, a 6'4 righty, 230 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. And that one almost got him. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. The pitch. Misses inside. 3 and 0. Oh. And the pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. His second of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 6-0. Dropped the barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he'd prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the elevated fastball. So I'm sure his eyes got big when he saw that one coming. So two down. And now Sammy Sosa. He's already homered here, here in this one. There, huh? With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. into center Senzel under it makes the grab and that'll end the inning run one 11 nothing your final score and the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Shambi we'll see you soon